Good morning everybody, how is it going? Today we're playing Morphling, we're going into the bottom lane, this was random draft. Playing Morphling because I wanted to stun gun people. My current team that I'm playing with likes to random, so they randomed Huska into Kunka on two players that I know like to play course, so I'm like, alright, you guys have them. I'm gonna go ahead and play the offlane then. So, I decided to go with Morphling offlane because that shit's hilarious. It's actually like so good, so good. I love Morphling offlane. In case you don't know why Morphling offlane and how does it work and like what's the point. So Morphling um, has the best stun in the game, possibly. I mean, we don't see too much of it usually, but it is like legit the best stun. It is so good. Um, it just stuns people for four seconds on a 10 second cooldown. Huge range on it. Talking about Adapter Strike, of course, right? Now, usually you see it used on the Agility Mode, which is the high burst damage, but you don't have to. And so we won't. We're just gonna go with the Strength version of it and hit people with the long duration stun. Huge cast range on that thing, right? Like it has 900 cast range, 4.25 seconds stun, and only. Um, ooh, hello, Disruptor. No, thank you. I would much rather not. And only, uh, what's it called? And only got a 10 second cooldown. 80 mana, right? It's just so good. It's like so good. And that's what we're gonna be using. At least that's the plan. For now, we're just being beaten up by the Disruptor. Uh, this is a hard lane to be in. This is the reason why you don't see this. Wolfling just can't offline very well. Like, there's not much he can do. Like, if he gets zoned out, like I'm getting zoned out here. Then I just cannot defend myself. I do not have the tools I need for it. And that's a bit of a problem. Right? But luckily this slug is actually giving me a bit of a, a bit of a break. And it's a little, not doing a great job at keeping the creep wave back. So soon I'll be able to get some experience going. But yeah. The nice thing though is we don't really need gold. Like at all. It's just not important. Um, experience is, but that's fine. We can just leech as much as we can down here. And then soon enough, we'll be level 7, which is really all we need. And then we'll shoot people. And that's the plan. Also, this guy's pulling, and I'm unhappy. Definitely unhappy about that. Oh, look at that. I got a last hit. Oh, look at that. I got another. Oh, please stop. Thank you. I very much appreciate it, you know, you stopping. Oh, there's another one incoming. Guys, please. What did I ever do, man? What did I ever do? <laughs> we're gonna go in and uh, get ourselves trankles right away. Um, yeah, we're gonna need them. <laughs> we're gonna need them. Oh, definitely. Uh, why do I have two of these rings? Well, one of them is gonna be a Basilisk. The other one's probably gonna be an Urn. Um, maybe not. Doesn't really matter that much. Like, the thing is... We really want a little bit of armor. Usually, you know, you're playing offlane, you get yourself a shield. Well, assuming you're playing a melee hero, but I'm not playing a melee hero. I don't have the option of getting a shield. So I'm just gonna settle before this. Like, Ring of Protection is actually not that much worse than a Star Shield. It's really not. The effective HP gained is not vastly different. Okay, could you, like, not? That would be great. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna deal with that. Like, screw it. I'm out. I'm out. We're still doing fine. We've got enough mana for another waveform, which is really all we need. Unless they, like, go for us right away. Can you, like, not... This is really very rude. <laughs> I'm just a poor morphling, man. Just a poor morphling. Oh, I can't win this fight. I can't win this fight. That's okay. I think we need some more regen. Nah, you missed. Sorry, man. I'm a little bit faster than that. <laughs> Just a tiny bit. Not much, but I am a little bit faster than that. You know what? I'm gonna go grab the bounty rune. I feel like that is going to be more effective than staying here. Uh, gotta get myself that. Can I have the bounty? I'm sorry. I, I really need a little bit. This lane is very difficult. Thank you. Appreciate it. 
Um, I guess we could try to kill that. We're not very good at it. Like, we're really shit at it. But I guess we might as well do it. Okay. Oh, screw that creep. Yeah, fuck it up. <laughs> I mean, I suppose it works, right? I suppose it works. Although I now ended up taking quite a bit of damage. Which I'm not like super happy about. But it's not really that big of a deal. The shrine is active. So we can just go there. And heal up. Yes. Yeah, might as well use this. You know, get a little bit of extra damage in. Okay. Uh, come on. One more. There we go. Nice. Go ahead and act activate that shrine really quick. Sadly, the courier is dead. That's very unfortunate. Ah, uh, hiccups. I'm sorry. It's very unfortunate. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, I was hoping that somehow it's done some long enough, but it's only level one. It's not gonna stun anyone for any any significant amount of time. Now, of course, a stuns in general aren't necessarily great against Slark. Right, like, Slark is not a hero that you think of when you're like, oh yeah, I need to make sure we have enough disables. Because it's just so fucking hard to disable a Slark, how do you even do that? Plus I'm dead. Um, right, but how do you disable a Slark? Well, the thing is that, sure, uh, it's gonna be tough to stun him. But there's plenty of other heroes worth stunning, right? Like, and the thing is, if I ever catch him, well, he's gonna be in a world of hurt. Okay, the ogre should be fine. I mean, it's a goddamn ogre. Right? Like, that's the thing about that hero. He is tanky, and he can definitely take some hits. Gotta get that. I'm still teaching myself the Unity engine. It is an undertaking. It's definitely quite tricky. But, having fun. Oh. I don't know if I can. I know I shouldn't. So I'm gonna, gonna leave now. Thank you. And what we need next is... Uh, what's it called? Ephalance. Yes. Ephalance is very, very good on this. Increases your cast range even more. Which is useful. But uh, mana, we need the mana. Like, if you don't get Ephalance, you just do not have enough mana for this build. And you need mana. <laughs> it's no better way of putting it. So we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves down. By the way, oh, one more thing I wanna... Um... Open Angel Arena. We are soon going to be implementing a new map. I have uh, reworked quite a few sections of the map. Um, pretty significant portions of it. I think uh, for the better of the game mode, right? I think it's actually a lot, lot better. Or going to be a lot better. I haven't had a chance to try it. So just because you haven't implemented it fully. But um, it's a work in progress right now. Like, the overall design is done. I've just passed it on to some people to, like, make it actually be pretty. Because if I work with Hammer, it looks disgusting. Like, it's... I'm not very good at Hammer. <laughs> yeah, it's just not, not really something I get along with too well. Okay, we've got a lot of armor now, which is nice. And um, soon we're going to want to morph into strength. So we can't actually disable people. But for now, I'm still kind of just keen on getting a little bit more in terms of experience. And maybe even a few last hits. But uh, it's not looking very likely. Problem is just once I morph into agility, I do not have... Oh, uh, not into agility, into strength. I just don't have any damage left. Right? Like, in fact, I'm going to morph a little bit of agility. And then I can't even do this anymore. Without, you know, making a big deal out of it, morphing everything back. And I'm not maxing out morph for quite a while. That's another problem. I need to keep morph at a lower level because I need the rest of my spells. I need the mobility and the damage from the Q and I need, of course, the disable from the W. So I just cannot prioritize getting morph. Just can't do it. And that's uh, something that is also going to complicate the situation a little bit, but I guess so be it. He doesn't have an urn. It's not looking like he's going for one. So I should be able to just get one myself. That would be nice. 
I think I'll grab an urn as my, like, early game. Hey, it's a good item. I don't think anybody can say anything else about urn. Right, it's it's nice, it's strong. Uh, so what it's going to be our, like, long-term item build? Well, Ethanons already mentioned that one. Blink Dag, if we can ever get there, would be awesome. But, of course, that's kind of stretching it a little bit. Um... Something that would also be absolutely amazing is... What's it called? Wow, I cannot believe we got that stack. That's actually a little bit crazy. Okay. Something that would also be amazing is a Heaven's Halberd. If we can ever get there. Right? Like, if we can, then we are in a really, really, really good spot. Because Heaven's Halberd is going to be amazing against Slark. It is so good against Slark. But, it's of course difficult to get. Alright. My team is already being pretty effective, it seems. Well, we are now level 6, almost level level 7. Alright, again, that's all we need. Once we're level 7, I'm perfectly happy to like go crazy on people. But until then, I would much rather chill. That should be enough, right? I only need 3 fifths. That's all I need. I don't need 100%, I just need 3 fifths. Okay. Although currently I do no damage at all. <laughs> oh shit, yeah. It's not like I could have denied that with my <laughs> 32 damage. <laughs> yeah. Hey dude, techies amounts of damage. Um, this is the problem I addressed earlier. Right, but I, I can't just go and morph right now. Because if I do that, I'm going to be all out of mana. And that's also not a great situation to be in. But this creep wave should let me get to level level 7. Alright, not quite. I don't think so, no. Not quite. Oh, please stop. Next creep wave should do it. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This should. Oh, no, no. No, disrupt the name. Oh, I don't like this. Shit. Yeah. No, that's not good. Get away. Okay. <laughs> Can already see the, the power of that. Oh, fuck me. I'm tanky. I can take some hits. So, I may. Yeah, I'm gonna be fine. Still scary. There's another advantage of this build. You just can take some hits. It's just no better way of putting it, right? Like, you have a lot of HP. So, we've got it. Alright. All right, time to start moving. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, on that note, I would like to get this, and I am now gonna start working on this. But I would also like to get this. That is all for mana region, because this hero does not have a lot of mana, and you do need mana. <laughs> So I'm getting a lot of items that just give me like a static amount of mana region. That is like not dependent on my... You know, that's not percentage based. Because that's really powerful if you don't have a lot of... Vital Holy shit! That just happened. Oh, you gotta chill, man. Alright, I'm just gonna be sitting here. Gotcha. Somebody jumps this guy, I'm ready. Got a long cast range. Okay, well he's stunned forever, but I think our Huskar dropping low. Alright. I I understand that Dad didn't necessarily use it optimally. But I was just hoping to get a little, little bit of healing. To prevent him from dying. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna just put another one on him. Gotta keep this Huska strong, you know? Yes. Gotta keep him protected. Gotta keep him powerful. I'm I'm ready. <laughs> That's a great thing. I don't need anything anymore. I'm perfectly good. From here on out until forever. Don't need any items? I mean, some would be nice. Don't get me wrong, but they're definitely not required. 
So we're just going to be sitting right behind our Huskar, who's standing strong and being nasty. With the triple support. No, where are you going? Okay, well, I'm going to be slowly walking there. Although, actually, relatively fast for a Morphling, because Morphling is not very quick. Oh, that's rude. You should kill Roshan. I mean, that's just the best play right now. Getting Roshan. All right. Well, oh, I got him. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna kill him, but sure, I'll take it. I'm not gonna complain about it either. It really doesn't do a lot of damage. Like, it's a hundred base. That's really, like, all we've got. I would have added us, what, <laughs> another ten from my agility, maybe? Actually, less than that, probably. But hey, I'll be taking that. I'm happy about anything I can have. Okay, there's a slog there. I think I want up the hill would have been a bit better. I'm just gonna run in. I'm nice and tanky. I can take some hits. Yeah, it's risky, but this guy's also stunned forever. So. Oh, they're going for the slog. Ooh, invisibility. That's always a problem. Oh, no. Okay. I'm gonna come over here again. Yeah, this guy's gotta be stunned for a bit. <laughs> like, absolutely, we can take our time here. Because we got all day. He's not getting anything done. Oh, invisibility again. Ah, oh, man. All of these invisible assholes. I'm always being annoying. Come on, just fight us! Or not. I mean, it's really up to you. Who am I to tell you what to do, right? Got him. There's no way to go for him because he's stunned forever. Go ahead and push down. As soon as somebody comes close, they're gonna eat a stun. Like so. What? There's no defense. It's nothing. Oh, there's a slog. Okay, well, he's dead, but... Oh. Got him. <laughs> Should still be dead, right? Yeah. Oh no. It pushed him out. I'm sorry. I didn't expect the push to go that far. Can I dodge it? No. Oh! Seems he tricked himself. Okay, well, we have a problem. It's okay. I mean, we were gonna die there. Question was just how exactly do we die? Yeah. So about that sound, so I guess I should have gone for the disruptor. I wasn't sure. It's hard to like tell just exactly how far that push is gonna take him. But yeah, that was my mistake. It's okay, it's just a sound, so it's not that big of a deal, right? Huska would have died anyway. Like there was no way Huska survives that encounter. The only question was do we kill the sound? Oh well. Anyway, we're 19 minutes Somebody into the video. If you enjoyed it so far, Roche. please don't forget to do a rating on the video. We we'll definitely appreciate that. Oh, we're just gonna keep going, right? Let's push something as a team, like a mid or something. I need to get myself my town portal scroll. And uh, we have a lot of strength. Yeah. We are tanky. Husk. <clears throat> Huskar levels tanky. <laughs> No, we've got the Ephalans now. Uh, that just means this, this ability has got a dumb cast range. Like, that's what having an Ephalon does. It's just so ridiculous. 1100. 1120 to be entirely accurate. Oh, he dodged it. It's fine. They are 
There, there are plenty more where that came from. Hold Don't worry about it. Well, he's stunned, but I know, we don't really have any follow-up. But I'm sure he's pretty damn intimidated. Oh, shit. Well, that's a problem. Okay. You're dead. Oscar is dead. Ooh, I don't know. Got him. But I just don't have any follow-up, do I? Okay, that should be a kill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Not... Yeah, I don't know. There's just not much I can do about that. Child, I got I got the long stun on the slark at one point, but he was just too far away. We gotta kill him. Gotta kill that guy. So I think at this point I really start working on the uh, either the blink dagger, which blink dagger is really good. I probably want the blink dagger actually. But yeah, I I ever start working on a blink dagger or the heaven's halberd. Like those are really the two big things I want. The two big things that are super good. Everything else is pretty decent, but that's. The important ones. Yeah, Shadow Fiend took a lot of damage from the raises. Yeah. Hey, I, I went in deep trying to help my team. It just wasn't that much I can do. Sadly, I don't have any armor. <laughs> this is another difficulty. <laughs> you know, I, I have no agility. I've got 18 until agility right now. Never mind. I have seven agility right now. <laughs> so I'm not necessarily um, very fast. Which is actually something, by the way, that I think is an interesting thought, right? Like, because it was always, like, interesting to me. Well, agility, how does that translate into armor? Right? I just never really, like, thought about it. But it's actually something interesting that I read while reading up on, like, a pen and paper RNG. How they explain it is, well... Your dexterity determines your armor class, which is kind of the same as like your agility determines your armor, right? But your armor doesn't mean, oh, you dodge everything. It just means, for example, hey, this is how difficult it is to get a proper hit on you, right? So, for example, armor gained from dexterity or agility is armor that is added to your character with your character essentially like avoiding a lethal blow, right, or parrying in time. Going for something that isn't necessarily the same as just taking the hit, like, just kind of dealing with it in some sort of way. Well, armor gained through, for example, a plate mail that you're wearing, unless your character just having armor and the plate mail, like, blocking a hit, that would be problematic, right? I don't know. Like I find so I find that interesting to think about it that way. He's done. He's dead. Okay, Hoska is going in deep, a little bit too deep. Oh, got to go and summon an illusion and get it out of there. It's not gonna be very useful. But it allows me to do stuff like this. Just kind of go in deep. Got him. Yeah. Alright, cool. Got ourselves some kills. Oh. Well, it should be fine. Okay, I'm waiting for his Q. Got him. He's stunned for well. Ah, uh, it's not quite enough, is it? A little bit disappointing. I'm gonna morph into agility so I can actually push here. It's not gonna be enough, is it? I am not a priority for them. It's like an advantage I've got a little bit. 
Ooh. It's power cock. It's a shame that that did work out. It didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Because that's not what I had in mind. Oh no. Alright, we got Blink Dagger now. There's a slog up there. Screw that. Oh no, I'm not going anywhere near that. Oh, what happened here? Did we get backdoored by the Shadow Fiend? Yeah. I don't know, like, they ratchet more wrecks than we did. Yeah, we got backdoored by the Shadow Fiend. Well, I'm not happy about that. That's kind of shit. That really sucks, actually. Hmm. Because our team really needs to finish early. Like, they've been late. They just do. Yeah, Pada, you need to just, like, sit there and hit buildings. Like, they may have a barracks more than we do, but the entire base is exposed. If we ju just yeah. win one fight, we can take three lanes of barracks. So it's not really too big yeah, of a deal, but it is no, a little bit no annoying. Okay, like, there's the slog. Uh, no, slog isn't stealing anything, actually. Well, slog is stunned forever, so... Okay. Silence. Ogre is pretty much dead. Poor guy. Like, I can't do anything with so much. Invisibility. And we have no vision again. Slark is stunned. Ah, oh, but without the Huska, what do we do with a stunned Slark? Like, they're able to fight us. You need a halberd. Right? You don't need BKB, you need a Heaven's Halberd. You can't BKB out of the purge from Silver Edge, but you can disable his attacks. And he can't purge a Halberd. But when I can't life steal. Yeah, like that's the part of what's so much. Uh, yes, you can life steal. Wait, why can't you life steal if you have Halberd? It disables passives. Even disables blade mail. It disables, like, items too. Silver Edge? Yes. No, it doesn't. It does. No, it doesn't. Does anybody else have confirmation on this? Private lobby, activate blade mail, and hit. Somebody with Pretty sure it doesn't do that. Pretty sure it doesn't do that. Well, either way, also that wouldn't even be considered a passive. Also, how is that relevant to Heaven's Halberd? It's relevant to Silver Edge. Yeah, but you can't we do can't anything about Silver Edge. You can't BKB it. Like, you will be Silver Edged, and that is going to be the end of it. You buy BKB, well great, now you're glowing purple, or yellow, and you're Silver Edged. Didn't change anything. We still have no vision. Or dust. I'm just gonna teleport. Well, I tried. <laughs> Sorry. 
Yeah, <clears throat> I don't like really arguing in my videos, but Paul is being an idiot. He needs a he needs a, a heaven celebrate. That's the thing, like, Silver Edge do Edge doesn't disable Blade Mail? I don't think that's true. Dollar 2 is Silver Edge. Uh, the, the. Mm -mm. Doesn't say anything about it. Disabling passive abilities. I don't know, maybe maybe blade mail is considered a passive ability. I wouldn't be too surprised by that, just because Dota is weird and fucky like that. But it strictly speaking shouldn't do that. Like at all. It just shouldn't. It's really odd. Alright. My Huska Illusion actually did work in that last fight, funnily enough. Oh shit. I mean, I can get a stun on somebody. Oh, there we go. That's that's what we need. Like, there's nothing he can do. Okay. Still stunned. Ah, oh, fucking hell. I need some dust. I got a gem. Uh, that's so irritating. So irritating. I should really be... It's really my fault right there. I should be the one carrying something like that. But it was still a really good fight for our team. Just us keeping the... Slog busy. Like, that's the thing, right? Like, Huskar is dying because the Slog cannot get... It, like, breaks his passive. And without his passive, he just can't do that much. But without... Silver Edge, like... Huskar can actually just tear the team apart. Like he did. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna sit here and wait for the invisible slug to show up and I'm gonna stun him. And surprise him. There he is. Easy. Yup. Hey, you got one free kill. Just how that goes. Let me get that Husker. Oh, you did. Oh, actually, the lice dude. Oh shit, let's go. Uh, Wait, that was X marked. Very little I can do right now. Like I wish, but I just don't have the tools. But hey, we got a barracks. That's pretty good. It's actually turning out to be a really fun game. Like, it was looking super one-sided in the beginning, but by now, definitely not anymore. Yeah, and this is my struggle. <laughs> my, like, no fucking agility. I'm not very good at killing these creeps. That gem came in handy, though. Yeah, it gave us a free kill, buyback on that slog. He needed to buy back too. Got two Heaven's Halberts now. And this is like the strength of Heaven's Halbert, right? This is why this thing is so broken and everybody buys it all the time. And if you aren't buying it all the time, you should. Because you cannot do anything against it. I'm gonna get one too. Right? Like, the Shadow Fiend and the Slog, the only item in the entire game that works against Heaven's Halbert is Lincoln's. Right? That's it. Nothing else does anything. You cannot perch it at all. Not with Slark, not with anybody. Not with. There's no ability in the game that purchases a Heaven's Halberd. That's about as strong as you might imagine. You're dead. Look, my team has seven days to kill you. You're dead. Good. We can use this. Oh, we can definitely use this. Mishan is dead. But... Time to push. If we get mid, we should probably win the game. That gem... Definitely... 
definitely uh, helping still, right? Like, the thing is that this gem has now allowed us to actually have a situation where if we ever catch the slog, the game is just over. Because he can't buy back anymore. He's going to be dead for so long, because that was an instant buyback on that death. So, yeah. In a pretty good spot, I would argue. Yeah, oh, he's dead. That's it. Game over. <laughs> That's what I mean of like that all the time in the world, all the time in the world, man. Go ahead and get myself one of these Oscars going. They're nice. I like them. Yup, you're, you're stunned. Oh, you wanted to help? Well, isn't that unfortunate? I'm gonna get out of there. I know I'm not, like, teleporting very far away, but still don't want any piece of this. Down. Disruptor buying back. Everybody buying back. Just doesn't matter. Oh, the Kunker is dead. Alright. We did it. Oh, shit. Our team died. I'm pushing, boys! I'm agility now. I have become agility. Let's go. Okay. Hey, I pushed a bit. <laughs> yeah, they're getting all barracks up top. But at this point, we've got mega creeps. I don't think it matters. Like, yeah, there's a big creep wave and whatever. I really don't think that is relevant. Okay, time to morph back into strength. <laughs> I don't know, I found that amusing. It's just like, oh no, everybody's dead that can push. Don't worry, guys, I got us! Me and my 31 attack damage. <laughs> oh, man. No, I legit deal 31 attack damage. I mean... Not very good at pushing, what can I say? It's not my strength, it's not my strength. There's the Heaven's Halberd. We're probably not gonna get to use it, but... You saw how as soon as we got those, we won the game? People should listen to me more often. I kind of know what I'm talking about. Sometimes, not all the time, but come on. Uh. Alright, that was still a cool game though. Like, they definitely scared me for a little bit there. And you got to see the power of the stun gun! Right? Just stun gunning people left and right, making sure nobody gets away. And we got another good wager. Another 2000 on that. Yeah, of course, my net worth is gonna be not that great. But yeah, you see, like, they definitely had a bit of a comeback there. But Slog, well ahead of everybody. On their team, not on our team. We had Kunka and Haska all the way up there, of course. But yeah, got another reward. What is it? Oh, let's spin that wheel. Let's get that arcana. One time. I mean, I've been spinning this fucking wheel for like three years and I've never gotten anything good. And day nine does it once and gets an arcana and it's just really upsetting. Treasure? Oh, it's gonna be a shitty set, isn't it? It was. Well, who wants a shitty set? It's tradable, right? Yeah, 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 it is. So, I'm gonna go ahead and be giving away... I'm gonna, gonna be giving away this set today. Who would like that set? Well, let's go ahead and see who wins. Alright, let's take a quick look. Today's winner of the giveaway is... Never mind. You win. You want that? Feel free to send me a message. It looks like that. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.